everyone. It's Carissa Wiley here for Concord and Ninth. Thanks for joining me today. If you're looking for a way to brighten up your holiday crafting, the new Christmas lights inlay die from Concord and Ninth is the perfect way to do that. So let's take a close look at this brand new inlay die. Now inlays are all the rage right now and Concord and Ninth is making it so easy with their inlay background dies. Now this covers the entire area of an A2 size card and it features all of these light strings which is a perfect way to create a merry and bright scene for holiday cards. Now when you run this through a die cut machine, this is what you're going to be left with. A panel with all of these light cutouts and you're going to be left with all the little light bulbs and all of the little light bulb sockets that you can then inlay into that die cut negative space. Now my favorite way to do die cut inlay is to take the panel that I've die cut and adhere it to a piece of scrap paper that has adhesive all over it. So when I go to lay in each of these lights, there's already adhesive on the panel beneath my main card front panel. So all these are gonna stick really easily and allow this process to go really quickly. Now keep in mind, I'm only using one color of lights and one color of socket here, but you can die cut this from as many colors of cardstock as you want and create a bright and colorful merry background. Now here's a few of the panels that I die cut. Keep in mind, you can use this over an ink blended panel if you prefer. So I have various colors that I've die cut and I can use them in different ways. Now another fun way to use these inlay dies is to create a debossed impression with the die. Now to do this, you're gonna follow the die cutting sandwich recommended to make an impression or to emboss with a die. For my Spellbinders Platinum 6, the recommended platform is the A platform base along with the B platform top. Then I have my die with the blades facing up, my cardstock, the E embossing pad, and then the D adapter shim. I'll run that through my die cut machine and this time instead of die cutting all of those holes, I've made an impression with the die. And once I've done this, I can use it with the deboss side or I can flip it over and have that kind of raised texture on my card front instead. So that's just another fun way to use these inlay dies from Concord and Ninth. Now let's look at a couple cards that I created with this Christmas lights inlay die from Concord and Ninth. I actually die cut an entire panel from white cardstock and then trimmed just above one of those light strings. Now instead of inlaying each of these light bulbs, I actually added strips of cardstock behind each string of lights and I finished that off by adding a little bit of sparkle pin and some glossy accents into the wells of each of these little light bulbs. That gives it some shine and some shimmer for the holidays. Now my next card may just be my favorite of the entire release. This colorful Christmas light card is just the best. I took and added a little bit of pigment ink blending around each of the light bulbs. And you can't really tell in the video, but each of these light bulbs actually has a little dimension to it. I did that by adding a single white die cut layer behind each colored bulb. Then I finished the bulbs off with some glossy accents and some white gel pen details. I had such a great time creating these bright and colorful holiday cards with this new Christmas lights inlay die from Concord and Ninth, and I think you're gonna have a great time creating with it as well. Be sure to share all of your light and bright creations featuring the Christmas lights inlay die from Concord and Ninth. We can't wait to see what you create. Mm -hmm. 